गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी अगेन स्टार्ट आर सेशन विद रिविजन ऑफ चैप्टर वन हिस्ट्री फ्रेंच रिवोल्यूशन स्टूडेंट्स नाउ टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द फ्रांस बिकम्स अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल मोनाकी एंड द डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ द राइट्स ऑफ मैन एंड सिटीजन्स फॉर योर रिविजन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लुए सिक्सटीन फाइनली अकॉर्डेड recognition to the national assembly and accepted the principle that his powers would from now on be checked by the by a constitution on the night of 4th august 1789 the assembly passed a decree abolishing the feudal system of obligation and taxes members of the clergy too were forced to give up their privileges tithes were abolished and lands owned by the church were confiscated as a result the government acquired a surplus worth at least 2 billion livres now france become a constitutional monarchy or a new constitution now students the national assembly completed the draft of the constitution in 1791 its main objective was to limit the powers of monarch these power instead of being concentrated in the hands of one person were now separated and assigned to different institution the legislatures executive and judiciary this made france a constitutional monarchy the constitution of 1791 wasted the power to make laws in the national assembly which was indirectly elected that is citizens voted for a group of electors who in turn choose the assembly not all citizens however had the right to vote only men above 25 years of age who paid taxes equal to at least 3 days of a laborer's wage were given the status of active citizens that is they were entitled to vote the remaining ma- sorry men and all women were classed as passive citizens to qualify as electors and then as a member of assembly a man had to belong the belong to the highest bracket of tax payer now the now students the constitution begin with the declaration of the right of man and citizens right such as the right to life freedom of speech freedom of opinion equality before law was established as natural and in alienable rights that is they belongs to each human being by birth and could not be taken away it was the duty of the state to protect each citizen's natural rights now the declaration of rights of man and citizen man was man sorry man are born and remain free and equal in rights the aim of every political association is the preservation of the natural and inalienable rights of man these are liberty property security and resistance to oppression the source of all sovereignty resides in the nation no group or individual may exercise authority that does not come from the people liberty consists of the power to do whatever is not injurious to others the laws has the right to forbid only action that are injurious to society laws is the expression of general will all citizen have the right to participate in its formation personally or through their representatives 
all citizens are equal before it no man may be accused arrested or detained except in cases determined by the law every citizen may speak write and print freely he must take responsibility for the abuse of such liberty in cases determined by the law for the maintenance of public force and for the expenses of the administration or common tax is indispensable it must be assessed equal equally on all citizens in proportion of their means thank you students